I found this wonderful relationship between fractions and tangles. Uh, tangle is a word I use for a piece of knottedness that has some ends coming out. And um, some tangles are fractions. So, you know, two-thirds, for me, names a particular arrangement of string. And, um, and this was taking, you know, how can I say it? Not theory, it's a branch of topology and so on. And then here's this little piece of it that's the same as arithmetic, elementary arithmetic. That's really what I love. I'm interested in rather trivial things. Um, frivolous, unimportant, you know, games. Uh, working out the day of the week. And I had to sort of struggle to get the license to be interested in trivial things. Do you feel you missed the chance to explain the monster by leaving Cambridge? There was a lot of momentum built up on the group. Yes, I don't know. I mean, you know, the way I think of it is there's a geometrical object uh, like the kind of star you might hang on your Christmas tree, you know, uh, which is tremendously symmetrical. And, uh, however, it's very, very big. An icosahedron, one of the regular solids, has uh, 12 vertices. A dodecahedron has 20. And they have uh, 120 symmetries, you know. You can view them from 120 different positions and they look the same. Well, the monster, my, it has nearly 10 to the 54 symmetries, a huge number. And where does it live? Well, the geometrical object that supports it is in 196,883 or four dimensions. You can't really think of this monster, and yet somehow, collectively, we mathematicians did you know, and um, I don't understand why it's there, and I really want to.